Uh, today is another day. It is gray outside today. Has been all day. I don't know about you, but for me, gray days mean I'm just sleepy all day long. It's what happens. There's no change in it. Well, I don't think there's any changing it. If it's gray outside, I'm sleepy. It wasn't even really rainy today. It was just kind of like gray cloud cover all day. I think we're supposed to have some storms moving in this evening, but... So yeah, it was a long Monday, that is for sure. I hope that you guys are doing well. Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about challenges. Um, recently at work, I actually just got through talking with my uh, manager with a, in a one-on-one -on -one monthly evaluation kind of thing. And I, I told her, I was like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just not challenged at the job anymore. And it's making it to where it's just staying hard to concentrate on things. And I think that we run into that a lot. It extends beyond just the work environment, right? Lack of challenge and everything that, that comes with it extends on a lot of stuff. Whenever it comes to work, if you're not challenged, you can feel bored, you can feel, you know, um, just like the day by day, it just kind of drags on, things that aren't, you, you can become complacent in it and you're not learning anymore whenever that happens. And you definitely don't want that to happen. You always want to be excelling forward with whatever you do. But beyond that, the same thing can happen in video games. And if you're not challenged in video games, that's something that can also be uh, quick boredom, right? So uh, a lot of people always used to ask, well, why don't you go through and just put it on creative mode whenever you play Minecraft? Or why don't you put in this cheat code whenever you put it on there? Because it ruins the challenge. There's no challenge anymore, so what's the point of playing the game? If there's no challenge in it, if, you, if you're not going to have something that you actually, actually have to strive for, then there's no point in, in playing that game anymore. I think that nowadays there's a different mentality in the youth that are coming up than whenever I was growing up. So many people nowadays, and I know it's not everyone of, of the generation, but so many people nowadays I see that they want to go through and just We'll use Minecraft as an example because I have a lot of experience with Minecraft in my past. I have nieces, nephews, uh, friends, uh, their kids, stuff like that. People that I see in uh, that are doing live streams and stuff like that. And the first thing they do whenever they start messing around with Minecraft or playing it, not from the get-go, but uh, anytime they play is they go into creative mode and they start laying out their structures and they just want to build it in creative mode. I want to do it that way. I want to make this catapult in creative mode because I don't want to have to go through and mine all the stuff. That takes way too long. I just want to get this done and be done with it. And so they put it in creative mode and they build up the structure or whatever they're looking at building. And then they get bored with it, you know, 20 minutes later because they've built it and they said, okay, I'm done. This game's stupid. I don't like playing this game anymore because yeah, there's no challenge left in it. That's what they're missing. They're missing that challenge that's left into it. Whenever you have a challenge on there, it makes the finished product that much more worthwhile. People that no longer find uh, a challenge in the job that they do are also the same people that are generally going to be the ones that aren't really satisfied with work and like, yeah, work was whatever. I'm just so, you know, whatever up there. I, I don't like working. I don't like going to work. The people that have a challenge, that's a healthy challenge in their job, and that enjoy that challenge, are the ones that whenever the job's said and done, they're going to be happy with what they did. And they're going to be more likely to strive to be better, and become better at what they do. And those are the people that you're going to want working for you. The people that are looking towards that next challenge and looking forward to how they can go through and finish it and complete it. And they take that pride into it. I don't know, to wrap all this up, my, my, my bottom line is, the, the, the thought of the day, I guess if you will, is to, to find happiness in the things that you do, you should find the item, the job, the whatever it is, the game that gives you a challenge that you enjoy and want to, that makes you want to strive to be better. And whenever you find that in work or in play, I mean, playing games and stuff like that, that will make you 
in the end a better person. So, I don't know. Hopefully that thought came through clearly. If not, uh, you know, we'll figure it out. That's going to wrap it up for this time, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. I will be doing some streaming tonight after I get done ed editing some videos. But uh, I love you all. Thanks so much for hanging out and joining me. Until next time, I am Dream Reaver 23 reminding you to game happy. And I will see you all later. Bye, guys.